The first thing I like about the watch is the display. It's very clean, very easy to interpret. What's nice about it is that because Aureus have actually designed the movement within the watch themselves, they've not been constricted in terms of the layout of the dial. And so you've got this lovely date aperture at nine o'clock. It doesn't say much, but when you have most displays at three and four thirty, it just provides a little welcome deviation from the, the mainstream, and it works. The small seconds display is positioned slightly off centre between 7 and 8 o'clock. Very clean, very legible, and it has a nice snailed detail just running around its periphery. Adjacent to the crown, we have a power reserve indicator. And what I particularly like about this one is that the power reserve is 10 days, which is remarkable. And lastly, and perhaps the highlight of the, of the display, is the dual display, or the dual time I should say, or the, the GMT display, however you want to refer to it, which is positioned at noon. And so we can actually display two times simultaneously. And just to help, we also have a day-night indication, so there's no risk of potentially phoning home at an inopportune moment. The second thing I like about this watch is the case. The case is beautifully executed. It's got lovely sinuous lines. It's very, very smooth to touch. Now, there's no evidence of any sharpness or any, any rough edges. Um, it's actually highly polished all over the stainless steel case, but somehow it doesn't look uh, excessive. It doesn't look over the top. It's actually got a very genteel, quiet, softly spoken character to this watch, which I particularly find endearing. This particular version is supplied with a nine rose metal bracelet. Um, it is, however, available on a leather strap. On balance, I'd probably go for the leather strap. I just like the idea of it being a little bit warmer. The last thing I like about this watch is the movement. The Calibre 112 is an in-house movement. It's hand-wound. It has one huge spring barrel, harnessing 10 days of power. What you will find is it does take a, quite a long time to wind it up. That's not too much of a hardship because it's got a lovely smooth winding action uh, that comes with it. So the crown, when you actually turn it, just feels very, very sweet indeed. It's quite a small uh, balance. What I always have done is, on the finishing of this watch, they've set, almost set aside some of the traditional finishes that we're quite accustomed to seeing, like cut the Genevieve motif on bridge work. Um, and they've actually gone for this very, very nice, understated, brushed finish. Um, what you'll also see is that there's very very minimal uh, chamfering on, on, the, on the actual bridge work and there's very 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 minimal gaps between the bridges as well. It does come for a clean aesthetic although I personally like to see a little bit more of the gear train but that's, that's something yeah, is a bit of a geek. Um, but what I find very very impressive about this is the specification, the quality, the, the execution of this watch being so, so in, good indeed, what is a comparatively modest sum of £4,200. Yes, £4,200 is a lot of money, but for this quality of watch, it actually represents excellent value for money.